Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do this drugstore slash affordable makeup look for you. Um, hopefully you enjoy it. Um, I really like how it come out. I mean, pop in, you know, you know. <laughs> um, so if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I've already got my eyebrows on. I use the Freedom little pomade that I normally use. So, look at the state of it though. What? So, I'm going to do the face, face, the face first. I'm going to use um, the Maybelline um, Instant Pore Eraser Baby Skin one. And by the way, this is a new camera, so I'm like, I can see when things are in focus. So, it's, hopefully it should look good. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put a bit of this on, and this is like a silicone um, primer, if you haven't used it before. I don't really like putting it everywhere, um, so it gets a bit slippery. So I'm just kind of putting it in my T-zone. Um, and then I'm going to take the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the shade Vanilla, is it? Vanilla. All my fake tan is gone. So I'm back to being my pasty self. Good times. <laughs> What I didn't really test was the microphone actually, so hopefully you can hear me. Ugh. If it's not very good, then I have a backup for next time. Okay. So I'm just going to blend that in with a kabuki brush. This is really good coverage as well for a drugstore. By the way, do you like my new J? Ah, I got one here and one here. I love it. My mum actually made this stand as well that it's on. Clever mama. Sorry if I keep looking down as well, my mirror is like here. <laughs> Actually, I probably choose the viewfinder, couldn't I? Hi. <laughs> okay. It's actually not a bad colour. I'm full of glitter. I went out on Friday night, it's now Sunday, still covered in glitter. And also, I just had a bath with a bath bomb that had like loads of glitter as well. So I'm literally just like, I look like a fairy. I like it. Okay, for concealer, this will be no surprise. I use the NYX Above and Beyond concealer in the shade Light. And I go with my eyelids as well. Because they're veiny. <laughs> they're very veiny. cover them bags up. I think now I'm 25, 25, and I have bags under my eyes. Never had them before, no. Nope. Great! <laughs> I'm just gonna push that back into my skin. Push it back in. It wasn't there to start with. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just gonna pounce that in with my sponge. Okay, and before we set our face, I'm gonna bronze. So I'm gonna use, again, this is like one of my regulars anyway. I absolutely love it. Um, this is the NYX Cream Highlight and Contouring Palette in the shade Deep. It's so good. And I just use the warm tone, you can see, a pit pan, don't worry. <laughs> Absolutely love it. So I just use uh, an angled kabuki brush. And when the creams get a bit dry, I like to just add in like a drop of oil. Make some extra creamy. Okay, so we are now 
all bronzed. I'm gonna set my face so nothing moves about. I'm just gonna use a large powder brush and I'm gonna use the Rimmel Clear Complexion um, Translucent Powder. And I find with this as well, it makes my skin really smooth. I'm just gonna like scrunch it up and get under my eye so that doesn't crease. I'm just really gonna set my T zone and then like under my neck. And then I leave this bit like a bit dewy. Okay, so we are set. I'm gonna highlight now. I'm gonna use, do you know what, I haven't used this in so long, like literally so long. This is the this is this is the Slink Solstice palette. Yes. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> So I'm going to use this yellowy shade and I'm going to use a little mermaidy brush and just hit the high points of my face. I forget how good it is. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Milk moustache. <laughs> okay. Let's move on to eyes. My best friend actually bought this for me for my birthday, so I have never used this brand or this, I should have had it before, but I'm use the Morphe 35OM palette. I'm so excited. I've never tried any Morphe products before. So we're gonna go with a warm lip today. Um, I'm gonna find some clean brushes. Does someone wanna come over and just clean my brushes? <laughs> Absolute nightmare. Okay, I must have some. I really don't, what's this? 224. It's not the huge, it's not the huge. Okay, um, I'm gonna go in with this color. With my Zuiva 224 brush. And go straight into the crease. Ooh. I'm like, ooh, pretty. That's nice. I'm gonna bring it quite high as well. I like. Okay, what do I want next? I feel like doing some like orangey tones. I might actually take this orange here and just go over that. I feel like you could never have enough matte warm shades, do you know what I mean? These are really good. I like. Don't like this brush as much though. But I know my 228. I don't even know where my other, I've got two of them, but I don't know where they are. One of them I know is already filthy, so best not, best not. Okay, um, what should we do now? Oh, well, I might take this like burgundy reddish color. And I'm gonna put that in my outer corner. Ooh, see that? Oh yeah. Well, like it. Oh, which one was that? This one. <laughs> There's so many. Oh, that's very pretty. I'm gonna bring it over a little bit as well into my crease. Just a wee bit. Ooh. Might use a bit of that um, highlight as well from the Solstice palette. Just on like the 
inner half or something. I feel like I need something a bit darker. Don't you? Um, let's go with this one. It's like a chocolatey brown. I'm going to put that on the outer bit again. Just to really smoke it out. Because I'm not going to put anything on this inner bit. I'm just going to put, I think, that highlighter. I'm so impressed with these shadows. I'm just going back in with the blender brush. I feel like I say brush funny. Do I? Brush. Don't know. <laughs> Oh, I really like that. Okay. I'm going to take... Mm, I'm going to take a mixture of the chocolate one we just used and then that reddish colour. Just mix it together and I'm going to put it under my lash line. That's pretty cute. Nice. Okay. Mm, love it. Right, I'm going to go back in with that sleek highlighting palette. And I might actually take the peachy shade, this one, and use that instead. And put that on the inner hat. Oh my god, that is so nice. That's really nice. I'll put it on my inner corner as well. Make us look awake. And I really don't feel like it. <laughs> I don't feel awake. Bit on the brow bone. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. Mascara. I was thinking of doing um, like eyeliner, but I actually don't think it needs it. So I'm just gonna go in with the Sleek Full Fat Lash Mascara. Ooh, 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 ooh. And I'm gonna go quite natural today. I'm not gonna do lashes or anything. Um, Cause I know a lot of you don't actually wear them. So I wanted to show you that it can still look good with just mascara, if that makes sense. Like don't feel bad if you don't actually like Lashes or don't get on with them or still looks good. I just like to be a bit of a diva sometimes, so <laughs> don't watch me. I like this one as well because the ball is really good for your bottom lashes. Hopefully this is acceptable. I think it is. I feel like someone else has done it before, but this is the bomb. The bomb's like drugstore, isn't it? That's okay, right? Hope so. So this is the, I think, was it Meat Matt Hughes? And it's in the shade Charming. Yeah, Meat Matt Hughes. So I'm gonna put this on. Stun it. That's so cute. Okay, to top it off, I'm going to set my face with the NYX Dewy Finish. I really need to get some more because I am running out. Take my ears out. Okay, so this is the finished look, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Biggies! Biggies!